This is DJ745 representing for WorldOfReggae.com. With me live and direct here in Kingston, Jamaica, is the band that is known as Earthcry. Welcome to the viewers. Blessed, blessed love, love, blessed love, Master. Greetings, I, greetings. I, I, I blessed, honest. blessed, blessed. So first of all, I want you all to introduce yourself to the viewers of WorldOfReggae.com. Yes, Massive, Blessed Love. I'm Alden Hart, lead singer and guitarist, Earth Cry Band. This is Philip McFarlane, keyboard player, Earth Cry Band. Kieran Cunningham, drummer. Kamar the bla bass player. So we've just seen you performing at Rebel Salute 2016, your debut performance. How did it go from your perspective as a band that was debuting at Rebel Salute, the big Rebel Salute 2016? Absolutely fantastic. It was an awesome experience. Um, it's always quite refreshing to see when your music, being that it's new to people, is so well received. And that's what it felt like. It was well received. It was a nice energy exchange from the audience and it, nothing short of wonderful because it's always just fantastic to just have that feeling. Your, your songs are new and especially in Jamaica where the, it's a tough crowd <laughs> and the people react that way to your new music. It's fabulous. We love it. I mean, you say that I know that Jamaica is a very, very hard crowd to please and to break into. But when I look at the crowd at Rebel Salute 2016, there was a very good proportion of people that were international as well, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, because we, we saw a lot of... Europeans, Americans, Jamaicans, Caribbean people, and I mean, they, what, what, what we learn that these people love reggae music. They love and they know good reggae music. And I, I, I thought Rebel Salute did a great job in having a, a good lineup of reggae acts, um, especially Earth Cry. <laughs> Cause we gave a nice roots rock. Reggae. It's a different sound. For those who already realize, we have, we have a different sound. Uh, it's a real a roots rock sound, and we, I, I, I thought the people enjoyed it. You know what I mean? Definitely. Very much so. And I know that you know you've 2016 has got off to a very very strong start for Earth Cry, just building on the success of 2015. I mean, you know, we had the EP Hard Road. Talk to the people about this EP Hard Road. Okay, Hard Road. Um it consists of um, six six songs. Yeah, we have nine to five, which speaks about the the struggles of getting up in the morning, going to work, and stuff like that. We have Monkey, which is a, a nice a nice story. It 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 talks about um, the higher you go in in life, the more you you see see things from a, a different perspective. Um, you have hard road. A very 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 nice track um revolution time strong, strong. yeah so it, it, it's a it's a very nice compilation of roots reggae music roots rock reggae music yeah and the one thing that i really love about the ep hard road is that it's all strictly live instrumentation how important is it for you as a band earth cry to have live instrumentation Extremely important, you know. You see, this is why we work so well together, and you know? we're all of the same mindset. And I guess somewhere in the industry, the software instruments and the computerized instruments they they have a place. But the the energy that comes from recording live instruments is is um can't compare to anything. So it's it's just to us. We need that energy to stay, that, that, that vintage energy. We love the old school of everything, so we need that vintage energy to stay around. So this, the, the live instrument recording, doing it this way, it's crucial to us, very important, to say the least. Using, using, you know, I mean, using guitar amps, you know, organs. Um, so definitely we try to keep it organic as much as we can, definitely. I mean, reggae music has such a strong and rich heritage of live bands. You know, we're thinking of obviously looking at people like the Wailers. Then we've got people like the Mighty Diamonds. And there's, there's so many names I could go on and on. Are there any particular bands from yesteryear that have really inspired Earthcry to do the works that you're doing? Yeah, most certainly the Wailers. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they have such a great impact on our music. And 
we try we try our best to be creative and original at the same time even though they are all, you know what I mean, role models, so to speak, you know what I mean? The instrumentation, all instrumentation is a bit different, you know what I mean? The rock influence is a bit more, but yeah, yeah, they are. So, I know that the Hard Road EP is doing very, very well with tracks like 9 to 5, Revolution. What's the plans for 2016? Because I know that the viewers are eager to learn what's going to be in store out there. Well, 2016, you can look forward to more music videos. Um, the the album release, which is May April, um, the documentary, which is, will, will be out very soon. You know what I mean? And just keep keep following us. You know what I mean? S subscribe to our U YouTube channels. We have quite a few shows also. Um, we have Reggae Month coming up. We have quite a few shows there, and um, we're looking forward to tour. US, Europe, you know what I'm saying? Look out and, and, and thanks for supporting us. You just mentioned a documentary. Now, I'm sure that our viewers are going to be very, very interested to learn more about this documentary. So, just in a few words, just give a little insight into what this documentary is all about. Well, it's about the life of Earth Cry now, you know what I mean? The preparation, preparation leading up to the album, the EP, the EP and our island tour, you know what I mean? It's just like an insight of what Earth Cry is about and who we really are. Yeah. So it almost seems like we're going to get a behind the scenes look at Earth Cry, what happens in the background, maybe some footage in the rehearsal studios, how you're vibing together and things. So definitely something to look forward to here. And no doubt it's going to be featured here on worldreggae.com as well. In terms of other plans for 2016, I mean, how close are we to completion of this album? Because I know that we've said that there's going to be a release date loosely around April, May time. How much of the works are complete? Well, the album is basically done. Okay. It's just it's just to build a platform where you can release the album. Where yeah. okay, you don't release the album and it, it don't, you know, so nobody the know, the knows. The done, we're actually starting the record, the next album. That right. is the focus. <laughs> <laughs> that is the focus. It's just, the EP is just to set the platform, right. you know. Yeah. It's just to, look, what the appetizer then, to say the least. Preparing you for the main course. Right. The album is the main course. So the EP <laughs> just come for wet your appetite. Right. And then when we present the meal, the, the main course now, you go home and you come back and represent the next one again in <laughs> the new set. <laughs> I mean, it's basically to have a solid foundation, you know yeah. what I mean? Cause for those who in the music industry you know you have to, to, mark, to mark it and promote, you have to have a solid platform, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you don't, you don't want to just drop an album um, without nobody to... Because we're, we're fairly young, you know. As much as we're, we're doing these shows, a lot of people don't know us. Yeah. So we give thanks to guys like DJ 7405 and Real Reggae for really bringing us to the world, you know what I mean? Definitely. I mean, to me now, it seems that in recent years, the the platform to move forwards as a new artist or band is to drop the EP or a mixtape and then come in with a full album. And I think that that route seems to be paying dividends for a lot of artists in the sense that you're getting your works out there before then starting the touring schedule, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, uh, because if you realize in, in some of the shows and the documentary will say you have some people some people have hard road as their favorite song some people have nine to five as their favorite some people I, I remember when this guy came on stage and stopped the band after play, after we playing monkey so we have to play it again and put on some money on the stage <laughs> I don't know what the song <laughs> does for him but you know what I mean so one of the things um dropping an EP with with different titles that different people have their favorite song because of their their, their life story or what they experience you know what I mean so I I think that's the advantage of dropping an EP, you know what I mean, definitely. So more, when you go to a stage show, people will know that song, they will know the other one more than doing one song and then the other songs they don't really know, you know what I mean, so that's the advantage. If the EP is interesting enough, it will make them want the album. So just make the EP colourful enough. If you can make a short collection of songs, a, five, a collection of five songs, impress an audience, they're definitely going to want the full package in due time. So I hope the EP is doing well right now. From what we are seeing, it's doing what it was meant to do, what it was prepared to do. So we're giving thanks for that too as well. <laughs> there you have it, live and direct from Earth Cry Band, live and direct here in Kingston, Jamaica, representing for worldareggae.com. We give thanks for your time today. One love. Blessed give love, thanks, give Every thanks. Time. Big up Royal Reggae. Big up yeah, DJ. Every time. DJ 745. Yeah. Right, definitely. <laughs>